Gathering Storm is a super added to Hunter's Ark 3.0 kit in Season of Plunder. And this one is a DPS monster. With the right build, you're going to be deleting bosses in no time at all. Well, today I'm going to run through this huge DPS Hunter Ark 3.0 build with Star Eater Scales. I'm going to talk through the aspects, the fragments, the weapons, the exotic armor, the mod combinations, so you can delete bosses just by looking at them in Destiny 2. Well, if you're new around here or find this useful, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below for all the latest Destiny 2 content and turn on notifications by hitting that bell. Roughly 98% of viewers who watch this week in video games aren't subscribed, so subscribe today and never miss an update. Well, before we get into the video today, let me know your favourite Hunter Ark 3.0 builds down there in the comments and share them with the community. Well, let's get right into the crucial information and first of all I'm going to start with the Arc 3.0 setup for this build. So first of all we've got the super, that is Gathering Storm. Then I've got the grenade, so I'm using a skip grenade for my melee. I'm using Combination Blow, so a quick strike that temporarily increases your melee damage when defeating a target stacking three times. And for the class ability I'm using Gambler's Dodge, so dodge to perform a death tumble. Avoiding enemy attacks and dodging near enemies fully recharges your melee ability. Well, for the aspects, I'm using Flow State, so defeating a jolted target makes you amplified. While you are amplified, your dodge recharges more quickly and you're more resilient, while dodging and your reload speed is greatly increased. I'm also using Lethal Current, so after dodging, your next melee attack has increased lunge range, jolts the target and creates a damaging aftershock. And damaging any jolted target with a melee attack also blinds them. Well, next up, let's have a look at the fragments, so Spark of Shock... Your arc grenade jolts targets. Spark of amplitude, so rapidly defeating targets when you're amplified creates an orb of power. That's going to be key with Star Eater Scales. Then I'm using Spark of Vault, so finishers make you amplified. And Spark of Discharge, arc weapon final blows have the chance to create an ionic trace. Well, next up, let's have a look at the exotic armor. So I'm using Star Eater Scales, they are an exotic hunter leg armor. Introduced in Season of the Splicer, so let's check out the main perks. Feast of Light. You gain additional super energy from orbs of power that you pick up, and while your super energy is full, picking up an orb of power overcharges your super, causing you to gain a burst of healing when cast, and bonus to your super damage. A maximum overcharge, you also gain an overshield. Well, you can get these Star Eater scales from Legend and Master Lost Sectors when you run them solo on Leg Reward Day, so... You can check out today in Destiny.com for the location and also the loot. Next up, let's check out the weapons. So in my kinetic slot, I'm using Riptide. This one is a legendary fusion rifle dealing stasis damage with a rapid fire frame, meaning as deeper ammo reserves and slightly faster reload when the magazine is empty. So auto loading holster, chill clip is a really, really good roll. So direct hits with the top half of the magazine cause a detonation that slows nearby targets so Chill Clip is absolutely perfect, and that gives the build a nice cool quality. Well, next up in the energy slot, I'm using Trinity Ghoul. So Trinity Ghoul was first introduced in Forsaken, but it didn't really get popular until its catalyst was introduced. You know, it makes the weapon 100% better. So let's check out the perk. So Split Electron fires an arrow that splits when released, and aiming down sights and fully drawing the bow both decrease the spread. Then you've got Lightning Rod, so precision kills grant the next shot chain lightning capabilities, so anything that grants you chain lightning with an ARC 3.0 build is really, really good. We're well, looking at the catalyst, the main benefit here is a new perk called Forked Lightning, where the lightning rod perk now triggers on all ARC final blows. This means you can roll around strikes, nightfalls, nightmare hunts, raids, wherever you are in the game, and wherever you want to use this, and chain together lightning attacks. Previously, you needed that precision kill to trigger the perk, but now it's much more common and really, really makes the Trinity Ghoul feel like an exotic weapon. Well, to get Trinity Ghoul, it's a random world drop exotic, so you can find it out there in the wild for exotic engrams. You know, grinding Nightfalls is really, really good. Also, you can get it from Zur, so make sure you check Zur each Friday to see if he's selling it or not. But do be aware, you need access to the Forsaken expansion to pick up that weapon. Well, in the power slot, I'm using Plank Stride, this is an arc linear fusion rifle added in Season of Plunder. It's got great DPS+, plus. also it's an arc weapon 
which is what you need for a decent ARC 3.0 build. Well, finally then, for the build, let's have a look at the mods. So I'm using a melee well maker, so powered melee combatant final blow spawn elemental worlds that match your subclass energy type. That's going to be ARC, of course. I'm using bountiful well, so elemental well mods that cause you to spawn elemental wells can now stack, spawning additional wells for each additional copy of the mod you have equipped. So I'm using a few copies of melee well maker, and that means using bountiful wells in conjunction, I'm going to get a well for every copy of melee well maker I have on every charge melee attack. I'm also using Font of Wisdom, so picking up an Elemental Well that matches your subclass energy type, so that's Arc Elemental Wells, temporarily increase your intellect, improving the recharge rate of your super. So for this build, we want to get up our super as many times as possible, so having Font of Wisdom is going to really, really speed that up. I'm also using a couple of Siphon mods, so first of all, Harmonic Siphon, so you create orbs with Arc Weapon Kills on your Arc subclass, and then Stasis Siphon, so creating orbs with your stasis weapon kills, and that is going to go really, really well with using Riptide. Well, Hunters have been dealt a great hand when it comes to Arc 3.0, and they've got some great additions to their kit. One of the main focuses being Gathering Storm. That is their new super. So I'm using Star Eater Scales to beef it up even further through the perk Feast of Light, creating some incredible damage output, which is going to melt bosses left, right, and center. You know, the key to this build are the exotic boots called Star Eater Scales, now these boots, they were massively overpowered when they first came out in Season of the Splicer, but they were dialed back somewhat in Seasons After. But now, with Arc 3.0, once again, they help give Hunters huge damage boosts. You know, Star Eater Scales enhance the damage of supers by picking up Orbs of Power and building up stacks of Feast of Light. So you can gather up to 8 stacks of Feast of Light, and your super can reach around 600 to 700,000 damage per super. And that is going to blow away most enemies and take a huge chunk of health from bosses. Now, the build today doesn't really require much setup. The objective is to create a loop of gathering Feast of Light stacks once you've got your supercharge. We're going to need to create orbs through our siphon and also through our fragments as well. So I'm using harmonic siphon. That works really, really well using the stasis siphon as well. I'm also boosting intellect with elemental world mods to help regenerate our super faster, meaning more supers more of the time. Also, really good for generating orbs of the Arc 3.0 fragment called Spark of Amplitude. So the description for that reads, Rapidly defeating targets while your Amplified creates an orb of power. And we can get Amplified nice and easy through Spark of Vaults. So using your finisher instantly makes you Amplified. Therefore, getting plenty of orbs is really, really easy. Plus you're going to be surrounded by teammates who are also generating orbs. Well, let me know in the comments what you think of the build, and let me know if you've got any improvements. Well, that is it for this huge DPS with Star Eater Scales Hunter Arc 3.0 build in Destiny 2. And as always, thank you so much for watching or listening. For more Destiny 2 content like this, hit that subscribe button down below and subscribe to This Week in Video Games. Or you can check me out on Twitter at TWIVG Podcast. If you enjoyed this video, found it useful, liking and sharing the video would really help me out. Otherwise, check out the other videos on the channel. Well, thanks again, and I'll see you soon.